Jack Grisham of TSOL, how many yes. uh, nicknames do you have? You have quite a few nicknames, yeah, don't you? It depends on where it is. Yeah, yeah where I'm right. at. So today you're Jack Grisham. Yeah, just Jack Grisham. I like that's that. That's all. And people think I lie about that though. That <laughs> that's not the real name either. So Oh. But I just did it just to like say, hey, it didn't matter who was in the band. I mean, back then, like punk rock back then was like, hey, there's no heroes, there's no whatever. So today I'm Frank. Tomorrow I'm Jimmy Woo. You know, it's like I use Jack Torrance, Jimmy Woo, Alex Morgan. I just used a bunch of them. I didn't care. Yeah. But later on, when I got older, it's like maybe that wasn't a, such a good move to make. So, but how whatever. Did, how did it go uh, when you ran for governor? Well, all right. We yeah. talked. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and we talked. I was happy yeah, to support you. I just went. The only reason I did it was just to complain about health care, which now health care is a huge issue. But back then, if you go back and look back, nobody was really talking about health care yes. in California or, in, you know, nationwide or sure. whatever. So the only reason I did, I said, look, I just want to discuss health care. And that's what I did. And uh, and they were really nice to me. Everybody was really nice. And I got offered jobs from that. And and, and I'll tell you, just to be even, even involved in that in just such a little bit, I realized what a foul taste it puts in your mouth. So uh, It was certainly an interesting year with uh, somebody like yourself running in here. Look where we are today where these, you know, people that are not political, you know, po- politicians. Yeah. Not See, to I was actually you to a trendsetter, or, yeah. you know, to start back then, you know, I, and I thought to myself, you know, there's, first of all, there's no chance that I could ever win. You know what I mean? Google me and chances are you got me making out with some transvestite somewhere sure. or whatever the hell's going on. I've seen on. that one. So yeah, something, whatever's happening, right? <laughs> so back then it's like, oh, this guy doesn't have any chance to win. And now look what we got. It's like, oh, wow. Maybe, you know, trend setting a little exactly. bit. Exactly. You're ahead of your time. Now. It's like- you guys had a, a great 2017 brand new album, The Trigger Complex. First album in quite a few years. Right. Yeah, it's, it's hard for us to get our, get it together. It, uh, it's like when you you know, when you talk about a like a punk rock band sure. and you don't talk about a punk rock band in a nice way, like like our names under that picture also and it doesn't have anything to do with the way we sound. Yeah. See, it's funny nowadays people think that punk rock's just about the way you sound, but it's like where we came from was an attitude. There's something that wasn't quite right mm-hmm. with you. It attracted some really, you know, what whatever it attracted, but yeah. it attracted us. The freaks and geeks. That's the weirdos, right. Freaks the unusuals. and geeks and out of control, not going to follow orders and oppositional defiance disorder out of everybody. It doesn't matter. You know, what was so- the band that inspired TSOL in the beginning? This is, you know, late 70s. What was going on in Long Beach? That- Sly Stone. Sly Stone. Yeah, I love Sly Stone. <laughs> Who doesn't love, I love Sly all that Stone? St- and no, you know, it's funny. No, nothing like for me, none of that inspired. I got into this because of the trouble. Like, the, the music was a backdrop. I, I, you know, I tell people that about The Damned. I was a big fan of The Damned, you know. So if you're a kid just out on a rampage, so picture cinema. It's cinema, right? It's a movie, and you're in the yeah. car, and, you know, you got a couple of cocktails in you, and you're going to go crash into a house. You're going to do something. You're not going to put Wheel in the Sky by Journey on. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, we need something else here. Dangerous. So you put, yeah, Love Story by The Damned on or something, you know, or even... I love Fast Time and Britain Run High when they played Cashmere by Led Zeppelin. Da 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 da. You know, it's like so punk rock was perfect for me. It's like a soundtrack to being an asshole. You know, basically that's <laughs> and you've what it done was. That professionally for professionally. decades now. Yeah, and it's and have not had to have a real job for any length of time my whole life. So I'm a winner. Yeah, you I are. tell people all the time, if I die today. 56 years old. If I go out today, people are going to go, oh, my God, that dude did whatever he wanted yep. his whole life, and he went out on top. Now, if I last for six more months, uh, things don't look so good. Sure. But, but right now, today, this moment, I'm going out on top. How was the Warp Tour? What, what was it like playing with some of these new punk bands? It was, Or do you call them punk bands anymore? I, I, th- I just Once again, it goes back to the attitude thing. That's the one thing I, I trip on. Like Some of the stuff I don't get... like. Like we didn't have we you know everybody's on the guest list. There's no right. backstage. You're you know you're you're walking out of the crowd onto the stage. It's yeah. like you know everyone's hanging out, having a beer, and you get up if there even was a stage. You know right. you're basically you're standing in the crowd, and then you turn around and face the crowd and start playing. Like that's kind of what it was. So so sometimes I trip out with all the security and all the rules and the buses and the this and the that, and I look around and there's no grit. But even when I look at the grit, some of the grit's even manufactured also. Sure. So, 
So everything I, is. Yeah, I struggle with it a little bit. You yeah. guys need to do some house parties again. Take it back to the old days. <laughs> right. What was that one you were talking about? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Flag, The Vandals, Adolescence. You a guys just playing some yeah. house party. Yeah, we played. We played my first band, Vicious Circle, and the Circle Jerks. We played a house party together in a garage. Uh, T. S. Well played with Black Flag on Twenty First and Lime in Long Beach. You know, in a backyard. Yeah. And then we had another one. It was uh, the Vandals, China White, the Adolescents, T. S. Well, and Agent Orange at a nooner keg party. Nice. You know, because it all was it was kids. Yeah. And, and the cool thing back then, you'd roll up to these houses, and a lot of people didn't even have cars. So you'd roll up to these houses, and there'd be 200 Schwins parked out front. You know what I mean? It's like you got Banana bicycles. Seats. Right, it right. It was kids, man. Sure. It was like a bunch of kids. Well, uh, I think that's still a thing, uh, you know, house parties. And it seems like a bunch of the bands are kind of come up, coming right. up that way. There aren't a lot of places for kids to play, you know? No, and I tried to do that. I tried to set up this tour one time, because it's like we're older, so we do got to live, too. You know, I can't... Sure. It's not like I can go away for a month and say, hey, I got 50 bucks. I'm stoked. I got 50. Yeah. When I was living with my parents, I'd go away for a month and come home and buy a surfboard and have $50 in cash and like, ah, oh, this is shit. I'm <laughs> stoked, you know? But now you're older. They want you to pay the electrical bill or yeah. whatever's happening. And uh, so I tried to do a... I tried to set up TSOL on a uh, United States tour of houses. This was my plan. So you just volunteer a house and then I was going to get corporate sponsors to back it. So take corporate money uh -huh. and then play for free in kids' houses, right? Jeez. And uh, I tried it and then the lawyers got involved and said the, the lawsuit everything. situation in this is Where just... Where's the DIY anymore, you know? Yeah. Just do it. I, the one guy looked at me and said, do you ever get tired of being sued? <laughs> so it's, it's like, all right, you know. But, uh, but I mean, and that's what people, you, you know, they used to get on me about, look at people that won't take corporate money grew up rich. That's that's when I'm, you know, I mean, the guys that I grew up with, you know, it's like, hey, free cheese. Good. Let's get this. Let's. Yeah. Oh, you're giving us free shit. Let's take it. Nobody yeah. ever said, oh, I'm not going to take that. That's Nike. Oh, shit. I don't care right. how many little hands went into making this shoe. I need shoes, man. <laughs> so, so, you know, you just, sorry, that was a little out of control. But, right. but, but so I, so I was going to take their money. I even did that when I was running for governor. I said, we need corporate sponsorship in schools, man. Let's get computers in yeah. here. Let's get lunches, get computers. Who gives a shit who pays for it? Right. Let's feed these kids, yeah. man. Make a difference. You know? Yeah. That's yeah. punk rock in its, yeah. in its way, you know? And that was something else. I tried to or organize a festival called the Payback Festival. I thought, look, all you guys have made all this money off these kids, man. All you big companies. So why don't sure. you just kick in? Give me the money. I'll go hire these bands, and we'll just play for free. Let's I just feel like do Hot free Topic festivals. should be doing that, right? They should Come do on. it. All these people should do it. Nike, Hurley, Volcom, all of them. Yeah. Free. Free, free. festivals for the kids. But buy the record, the Trigger Complex, on Rise Records. You yes. can buy it as a download. And uh, just it's been out for about a year now, right? Yeah, it's been Have out for a year. Have you guys been year. touring and playing a lot of the songs? You're on a little mini tour right now. Well, right now, four days. Yeah, but we're not doing for that record. We're actually doing four days of... Um, our first EP and the, our second one, the Dance With Me record, we're doing those together in entirety, playing nice. them song by song, just as they are in the record, which is trippy. And uh, like one of the songs, this Code Blue song, I Want to Do Whatever to Dead People, that, that we always end with that. It's like a big finale song. Yeah. But like back then, it wasn't. It was the second song in on the record. It was, it was track two. It's like we played it early on in the set. Nobody really cared. You right. know? But then after time and people, oh, it's that song. It's that song. Right. So you always end with that. But now it's going to be weird because we're playing it two songs in. So. Well, what a career. It's great that the band is back. You know, you, there, there was some other dude. He lives in San Diego, actually, that ah, was somewhere, singing yeah. in the band at one point. But True Sounds of Liberty, Jack Christian, amazing. Congratulations on the new uh, record. Thank you for having us. It's Love a, it. It's a pleasure, man. It's yeah. a pleasure visiting and seeing you again. And thanks for having I us. I feel like we're old friends. You just yes. have a very giving uh, <laughs> soul about yourself. You're a good guy, and yeah. you make people feel good. So thanks for doing and that. And thank you for that. Yeah. Jack right. Christian, TSOL. Well, thank you. Ready, I think that's it. Ready to do it for real now? You guys yeah. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yeah, Thank you so man. much. I'll see and you I'm tonight. I'll make sure you get a copy of Definitely. Thank you guys very yeah, much. Thank you for having us.